You're alive? I've been meaning to call you back. You know my dinner party is tonight. <sighs> Those girls. They're your friends. I can't be myself around them. You fucking owe me this. Oh, come on. I've been busy. Fucking bullshit. We're all this busy. What's the rest of your busy schedule? Well. Oh, come on. You think you'd be able to come up with some story? Pathetic. Luz, I just can't come. I miss you. Me too. One on one's better for you. I'm making homemade macarons. You must tire of trying so hard at making friends. Keeping friends. Cynthia's coming. She's back in town. What is it with you two? remember everyone, right? We missed you. Are you still writing these days? When are we gonna see your name on the bookshelves? I can't stay too long. Emily, do entertain us. Something vulgar? I wasn't planning on. Oh, you said well, we were just talking about Cynthia's book. Talk about vulgar. Oh, huh? have you read it? Uh, no. You'll learn a lot about her. <laughs> Too much. Now she's famous for sleeping with her cousin. It was with her cousin, guys. All right, big deal. Hi, I'm uh... Eddie, Emily, Emily, Eddie. Sit, sit. Sure. Right. Mm. Well, I think it's brave of her. Embarrassing. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> her story, she's, she's a bitch, she's a liar, she's a thief, she's... What? I thought you didn't read it. That's what I read about it. So people talk, she should be embarrassed? No, there's a strength in it. She doesn't hide her flaws, she embraces them. I'm gonna go clean off this stain. Something I said? No. Yes. You know, it's strange. You remind me Cynthia! of... Cynthia! Emily? <laughs> Emily, are you okay? Yeah. Well, I, I should go say hi, so... No point until the show is over. I'm so sorry I'm so late, but your hope was just a disaster. Lucy, these are for you. Maggie, you look gorgeous. <laughs> I found this in Paris, and I told you, oh, you shouldn't have it. <laughs> Carol, happy belated. I'm so sorry if I missed it. It's really beautiful. Anne, I know you can't resist wow. a selection of broth of the finest. Stop it. Stop. Emily, what are you? Emily, come give me a hug. I didn't know you'd be here. I'm so sorry, I don't have anything for you. I don't want your things. Oh, wait, I do have something. Signed by yours truly. Thank you. How was the book tour? You're so brave of you. One of my all time favorite novels. It's actually a memoir, and my publisher is already asking for more. And I do have a lot more to share. Oh, you leave it? I have to. Oh, I see you guys have met my fiance, Eddie. Tell them what you said, tell them how we fell in love. Tell them what I said, I don't, I don't want to talk. You said that thing, it was cute. When I read the book, 
I couldn't help but fall in love with her. So, uh... <laughs> That's why you fell in love with her? Why can't you just be happy for me? What the fuck should I be happy about? Eddie, are you gonna let her talk to me like this? Well, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, Cynthia, why don't you explain what's going on? Emily, you're embarrassing yourself. Oh, girls, you, you need something to talk about? I think there's one story that you didn't include in your memoir. We were wild in college, remember? Lucy, I think you should ask her to leave you. But I made macarons. We went to Spain together, you and me. And we got lost, roaming the streets of Barcelona. And then we stumbled across a film set. And we were like, oh, we want to be in this. No, 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 we had to be in this. But something wasn't right. The director came up to us and he told us to just go with the flow, order drinks. But then the maitre d' came up to us with the drinking menu stuck to his dick. You order the bend over Shirley and I order the contini. And then the drinks arrive in plastic dildos. <laughs> oh, we're filming a porno. I've seen this before. I've seen her lose it before. But I did it anyway. And I did it so well. And that night, I want to write about this in my journal, but I couldn't find my journal. I couldn't find it anywhere, and you were so sweet. She's unhinged. You helped me look, you helped me look everywhere. She's out of her fucking mind. I could never find it. And then suddenly, you had a book tour for your memoir. Tell us another. You gotta wait for the sequel. <laughs>